Bible says all sin starts with temptation. And that that temptation, when it grows from that seed, leads to sin, which ultimately results in death. However, all temptations can be overcome through God. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 1 Corinthians says, no temptation has overcome you except what is common to man. And God will not allow you to be tempted beyond reason. But with every temptation, will provide for you a means of escape so that on Judgment Day, you can stand with confidence. Are you going to be able to stand with confidence on Judgment Day? Ask yourself this question. Do you truly know who Jesus Christ is? Do you know about his death, burial, and resurrection? The sacrifice he made on that cross? Do you know what it results in? That sacrifice results in the death of your sin. If you don't take that sacrifice and apply it to your life and stop sinning, you're going to go to hell. And I don't want that for you. You don't have to go to hell. You're choosing to go to hell because you're submitting to the world instead of God. The Bible says uh, if you love the things of the world or the world itself, you do not have the love of the Father. For the love of the world is enmity with God. That's right. And the love, the love of the world is this. The lusts of the eyes, the lusts of the flesh, and the pride of life. The lust of the eyes is that you see it and you want it. You'll do whatever it takes to get it. The lust of the flesh is fulfilling whatever worldly desire you want. Your genitalia says to do it, so you do it. Your, your, your stomach says to do it, so you eat it. That's the lust of the flesh. And the pride of life? Well, I don't think I need to explain pride to you people, do I? No, because you're full of it. You're full of pride. You love yourself more than God. You love yourself more than anything. And what you need to understand is that he who seeks to keep his life shall lose it. But he who loses his life for my sake shall, in the Gospels shall find it. And it's okay if you rebel us. It's okay if you mock us. It's okay if you scoff us. All you're doing is storing up uh, blessings for us in heaven. Jesus said in the Beatitudes, Blessed are you when men revile you and they falsely accuse you for my sake in the Gospels. Well, uh, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. God cares about you. What are you doing with the Lord Jesus Christ today? Can you please stop? No, dude? I live no, here. I'm trying no, to work. No, no, no. Talk like that. No, that's fine. No, I am no, sir. I'm not going to stop. No, sir. I have the legal right to do this, and people need to hear this gospel more than you need to sleep, okay? I'm sorry, bro, but you need to get over it. You need to just be an adult about it and get over it, okay? God cares about you. He loves you. Turn to Jesus. God commands all men everywhere to repent. It is appointed unto a man once to die, and afterwards the judgment. What are you doing with the Lord Jesus Christ out here today? Do you know who Jesus is and what he did for you? It doesn't matter. See, Jesus said that with every single thought, word, and deed, you're supposed to live for Christ. Are you living for Christ with every thought, word, and deed? God cares about you. He loves you. He wants you to be set free and saved. Turn to Christ when you still have time today. Please. Nobody else out here ever died or gave their life for you. No. The only person who died and gave their life for you was Jesus Christ. He's the only one. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by him. You must understand what the true gospel is. Oh, please understand that Jesus can set you free from your sin. Turn to Christ when you still have time. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of mercy. I'm telling you right now, God cares about you. He wants you to be set free and saved. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, 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 bro. I don't want you to get hit. I don't want you to get hit. You're going to get hit by a car. You're going to get hit by a car. You are going to get hit by a car. Don't fucking touch me. Officer, please. Officer, 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 please. This man about almost got hit by a car. Please come get him. He almost dived in the street, dude. Seriously. They literally just pulled. They literally just touched him. They just, just watch him. Just please keep an eye on him. Hey, that, that's the unlawful officer, just so you know. No, it's okay. Both of them are. Yeah, they are. Those are the unlawful yeah, ones. Yep. They are. Yep. They're they're unlawful. They saw they saw her get hit in like full on like body shoulder and didn't do anything. And don't touch us. See, this is the thing. See, us Christians, even though people hate us and want to smite our message, even though they, they try to stop the preaching of the gospel, you know what we do? We pull them out of the way of a moving car because we don't want them to die and go to hell. We want them to go to heaven. We don't want anyone to die and go to hell. No, we want you to uh, experience the love and peace and joy from the Lord Jesus Christ to fellowship with him for eternity. You don't, seriously, think about it. What kind of people would we be if we just let this man fall into the way of a moving car? I wouldn't be a true Christian if I let that happen. No, I would dive in the way of that car to save him from it. Because that's the, true of the truth about the gospel, that God cares about you. He wants you to be set free. He wants you to come to a knowledge of the truth where you can be born again. Please turn to Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, bro.
Hey, bro, I'm not going to preach yeah, on the street with him there because I'm afraid that I, he's going to fall in front of the car. You're the one. Well, Even if I go over there, he's just going to come over there. And if I keep preaching by the side, he's, he might fall in front of a car. And I don't want that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I'm just take a break for a second. Let it chill. Maybe he'll walk away. But if I keep preaching over here, dude, he's going to keep trying to fall, get in front of me. And he might fall in front of a car, dude. I don't want that. I'm, like, seriously worried about it. Maybe you can preach behind those... Yeah, I could preach like right here. Yeah, I could just preach right here. Yeah. No, I'm still preaching, bro. Sorry, buddy. I'm still preaching, bro. People need to hear this message. That's not true. Jesus hates sin. Jesus hates sin. God hates sinners. Without, he has a holy hatred for sin. You have to understand. Being gay is a sin. Being gay is a sin. You will go to hell for it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Repent. Turn to Christ while you have time. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Please turn to Jesus while you still have time today. God cares about you. He loves you. He wants you to come to a knowledge of the truth. What are you doing for the Lord Jesus Christ today? Are you driving by and hearing this gospel and living for yourself? Or are you living for God? God cares about you dearly. God loves everyone in the sense that he'll die for their sin. But he does not love sinners. No. The Bible says that he doesn't even hear you uh, when, you pr when you pray. If you're still a sinner. God cares about you. Please turn to Christ so you have time. Please turn to Jesus. I know you not. Jesus does not know you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. You do not live in the house of God. Depart for me because I know you. Not depart me for I know you not. He does not care about you. In Jesus' name. Depart in Jesus' name. Walks away. In Jesus' name. Yep. Jesus' name. Depart me for I know you not. You will not live on the fucking face of the earth because God does not care for you. Depart me for I know you not. Just be careful, man. Anybody wants you to get hit? Don't get hit. Here we are. That demon is going to destroy you. This is a warning. Your sin.